The WordPress cover block is interesting. It lets you place an image, video, or solid color in the background and add content blocks to the foreground. Knowing how to use the cover block can greatly enhance the design of your website. To add the cover block to your pages and posts, click the plus icon, type in cover and select the first option. You could also type forward slash cover and hit enter to do the same thing. You'll then have a cover block in your content where you can add media such as images or video, or if you would like, you could just use a solid color for the background and then we can place the text in the foreground. So I've added an image from my media library and now I'll just type in a caption. The caption is simply a paragraph block and we can actually change it to other types of blocks, embed video and more. You could also add multiple blocks by hitting the enter key. The cover block has two areas with settings and options, which you can access by pressing on the actual block. And here it is the toolbar at the top. The second is the cover block options, which you could find by pressing the settings icon at the top right of your screen. First though, let's talk about the toolbar, which again, you can access by pressing on the block. The first option lets us transform to a group columns and even an image block. You also have the drag and move tool as well as alignment options. This next icon controls the content position via a three by three grid. Selecting a dot will move the content to that location. So if I choose the bottom left, there it goes, top right, top left, back to the center. This next icon sets the image to its full height rather than resizing it. So if I press it, there you go, and I could just revert it back. If you want to apply a duo tone filter, you can select this icon right here. It provides pre-selected options for you to choose from. One applies to the shadows and the other applies to its highlights. We could also play around to get our desired look. So if any of these pre-selected options aren't working for us, we could simply come in here and choose our own color. Replace opens the media option so we can upload or choose another image from our library. The three dots includes a bunch of options like copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, add to reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. Selecting the actual content, like in this case, the paragraph block opens another set of tools just for that specific content. The default is a paragraph block, as I mentioned, and it includes all the standard options we've seen in the past. If we click on the cover, we can also resize the image by dragging this circle at the bottom of the image. Now let's move on to the actual settings. So again, you can select on the actual cover, press the settings icon at the top right, and here are all of our options. Under media settings, we could change it to a fixed background. If the image is too small, we could set it to repeat. And then we have the focal point picker. So I could drag this circle to where I want the main focus of the image to be. And depending on the size, the image will focus on that section. We could also change it by entering a percentage value for the left and the top. There is also a button to clear media if you would like. Then we have dimensions, which will let us set the minimum height of the cover. So here it's set to 191 because I was dragging this and you'll see that change in real time, but you can just enter a number if you would like. Overlay has a lot of options. You could select a color, either solid or gradient and choose its opacity. If you've chosen to show a color rather than an image, you could also change that color here. Gradient has a lot of options here. We could change the type of gradient. We can also press one of the control points to choose a custom color. As usual, advanced includes HTML anchor. This provides a special web address for just the cover block. And the second is a field to add additional CSS classes. This of course allows you to create custom CSS to style your block. That's really there is to the WordPress cover block. Be sure to check out all of our other WordPress block videos available right now on our channel. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.